What's good, my people? You're definitely back again for another reaction on this year. BRBP TV, be real, be positive. Television, brothers and sisters. I'm your boy, Mr. Lix. Welcome to each and every one of you guys who've tuned in to yet another vibrations. Let us get into the vibrations for today, right there. Now, guys, what you see on the screen right there is an individual who is apparently by a vehicle that is apparently uh, participating in uh, touching a pole, brothers and sisters. This vehicle is in the Battery region, brothers and sisters. And of course, there was an incident that took place involving this vehicle, somebody driving it, and a pole. And of course, you know, they all came together as one. Brothers and sisters, be careful on the road for me, please. I've heard that the individual is okay. But as a result of this incident, I would like to tell individuals out there to be careful. One of the things that I saw on social media or on WhatsApp and a number of other places, since people tend to send me a number of things, is I'm thinking to myself, maybe I should start doing this kind of things, um, this kind of reports and stuff. But I think I'll have to do it on another website. What do you guys think about that? Should I do this kind of things and make it aware of what is actually taking place in certain places around Dominica and in the Caribbean as well? There's some rather interesting and disturbing stuff. There's an individual I believe I knew. I'm not sure because I can't really make, of it, make out his face. But I think he passed away in St. Martin, brothers and sisters. I think he was, you know, taken out. I think if it's, that's the individual I knew, I, I haven't seen him in quite a, a, a long while, brothers and sisters. But, you know, I saw the face and it's like, it looks familiar. So I'm not really sure if that's him. Um, but he, he, he was an individual I pretty much knew when I was a little boy growing up. He used to do like construction in the area and stuff. And, you know, my family used to be close to, if that is actually the individual right there. Um, man, I don't know. Sometimes in life, guys, we go for things that we don't know when we're actually going to be leaving this world. This is why I always tell people it's one, and, well, it's not just me that's saying this, you know, but the great book says it is appointed unto man once to live and once to die. This is why I always tell people enjoy life to the fullest. Enjoy life to the maximum, brothers and sisters, but prepare to meet your creator because you will. You don't have to believe in him, you know, <laughs> but you must meet him. Brothers and sisters, it's better to be safe. It is better to be safe than sorry. When you meet the creator and say, oh, I, I, I didn't believe, you know, believe the creator, brothers and sisters, accept Yeshua in your heart. But I always, I always remember what the thief said, remember me as Jesus. Well, people always tell me about the English word, as Yeshua or Yeshua, a.k.a. Jesus, to remember you. Eh? All right, then, brothers and sisters, do, do, do say I didn't tell you. Oh, okay, then. Anyway, brothers and sisters, moving on right there. I saw a rather interesting post um, in the Wesley region, I believe it is. And um, this is apparently from uh, the, the road works that is taking place in the airport. And apparently it reads, to whom it may concern. If it doesn't concern you, it doesn't concern you. But to whom for which it therefore concerns. The road apparently, the road ahead is temporarily closed for construction at the time and date below. Of course, the starting time, this date is 8.30 a.m. to 17, well, 5 p.m. pretty much. 8.30 to 5 p.m. PM right there. Date from July 3rd, 2023 to August 3rd, 2023. So I'm guessing for a month. It's it has already started. It's already July 6th. And of course, this is what they're saying right there. However, the road is possible during the times after uh 5 30 p.m. to about 8 30 in the next a uh, day or uh, 8 30 a.m. With caution, you may contact us if you have, of course. Uh, the need of emergency access during its closing times uh, by the below times right there. Oh, this is the number that you call. And of course, they give you these times for which you have to call. But I, I, I must make mention to something right here. Who gave these people the permission to block public access road? And I understand that things might be going back and forth, but I think they should be having somebody stop, you know, pass, stop. What if I want to go to the airport? Mesami, best I come down here. Eh? <laughs> I want to go to the airport now. <laughs> what if I want to go to the airport and only telling me my, my flight is at, at, at 2 o'clock and only tell me the road close? Well, I guess you have to call this person. But who gave these people the authority to do such a thing? Who gave them this authority? It's like people just, they, they're just doing whatever they want. It's my road. i doing this. i blocking road. All you just have to abide by it. But apparently this is an individual who made a statement right there. On this thing i think he's the um independent candidate uh for the margo constituency anthony charles he made this statement stating lack of knowledge brothers and sisters should we the villagers 
just meet at a sign and agree road close. No, we should not. This was not discussed amongst the people who approve this. Shouldn't these things be put in the gazette to let the people know, hey guys, this is what's going on. And we need this to be operational at this time. You cannot just come and put a sign. <laughs> just like they put a sign and come and say, oh, no photos and videos. Because if it's me, I see Dominica. <laughs> I come in there just because they put the sign, you know. I come in there just to take photos and videos, brothers and sisters. You cannot just put things out there as if it's your own. It's not your own. Man just put in sign and one man to abide by it. Who give you the authority to do such a thing? Mezami, let me come down now and let's sign me in the road and, 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 and crash my vehicle. Crash me! And you go see what go come for you. Brothers and sisters, we need to operate in the capacity of what is just and what is what is necessary to be done. You cannot just come and put this thing there. And I agree with the, 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 the independent candidate for, for the Marigot constituency, the PAL rep. You say lack of knowledge should the villages just meet a sign there and just agree that road close? No! That shouldn't be, or you should do things for the proper channels to let the people know what's going on. You don't just come and put a sign. I mean, anyways, brothers and sisters, talking about going to the airport right there. Somebody send this for me. And I know sometime we actually had some anybody was talking about going to Dominica it might be expensive four thousand dollars for wrong trip, five thousand, six thousand dollars for wrong trip, and this kind of things there. But guys, this is actually on I believe it is cheapo air. Right there. This is round trip, brothers and sisters, October 25th to November 3rd. This is the kind of price that you pay. So you pay about $350 wrong, um, one way. And of course, $350 the other way. This is round trip right there, brothers and sisters. This is cheapo here. So if you are looking to come to Dominica, you can definitely do so by going into the different various websites. I actually mentioned this some time back. And I was talking about Kayak. You can use Kayak. You can use Expedia. You can use Priceless. Priceless. Priceline.com and of course Cheapo Air is one of them right there. So definitely, guys, my one of my my best things to use. Um, by the way, you can also utilize Google Flights. Um, that's another website you can actually use to to try your best to see if you can get cheap flights. One thing, uh, this is a hack right there, brothers and sisters. This is why you need to share this video so other people can know as well. If you utilize Google Flights, my my favorite thing to use is Priceline.com. But if you utilize Google Flights, brothers and sisters. What you can do is put the different areas that you want to go and then I think there's a possibility, not a possibility, you can, well it works in the United States, I don't know if it works internationally, but you can try it yourself. Um, put a flight down, put the pricing in, another uh, price in, put the dates that you want to think and then just let it rip. And then you can select the best times with the cheapest possible flights on the right dates that you might want to go. To Dominica right there so it could even be cheaper than this I remember taking a flight from um, I think it's Texas to Dominica and it was $198 <laughs> well it's one way so from Texas to Dominica was one way and I paid $198 brothers and sisters so you can definitely get cheap cheap flights if you know how to search for flights another thing you can actually use is VPNs you can type in put if you have a VPN I'm not sure for the free VPNs but if you have like Express VPN and this kind of things there, you can actually use the Express VPN to change your, your location. And then when you change your location, brothers and sisters, you can then search for flights. You can search around 2 a.m., 3 a.m. in the morning. And when you search for flights, it's gonna like reset back to the cheapest possible flight. Because sometimes when you're searching for flights, they put um cookies and stuff in your, your web browser showing that you actually search for flights. And when you did that, they might put up the price on you. So when you say, boy, price price is going up, you know, brothers and sisters, change your VPN, <laughs> reset your cache, reset, reset your browser. Or sometimes you can even use a new browser right there. For example, you might be using Chrome. Instead of using Chrome, go on Safari or Firefox or whatever they call them things there. Or a Brave browser. And then you, you clear your cookies and stuff. You change your VPN because it'll appear like you're looking that, that you're a new person searching for flights. When you do this, it resets it back to the previous uh, thing. Sometimes people tend to book. Guys, just go and search for. <laughs> or you get the point, hopefully. If you want me to explain a bit more, let me know in the comment box below, guys. And I will let you know a bit more on that right there. I go into long on this, brothers and sisters. But there's something I have to point out right there and of course it has to do with this oh i have to switch back this is it right there brothers and sisters caricom governments agreed to have free movement of people by march next year 
2024. So they're seeking to have free movement. Brothers and sisters, by the way, we, we the Dominican Prime Minister said that while the regional leaders understood that there would be some challenges for some, we are committed to this. So I'm guessing scary it is one the, the president of CARICOM or some kind of thing like that. I stated that yesterday. I didn't know that until somebody mentioned it to me. I was like, what? How can they how, how could they do such a crazy thing? But you know, I guess they're giving everybody a chance to shine. You know, democracy. <laughs> give the orders, give him a chance to shine, you know. Maybe something you should try to implement in Dominica. Give others a chance instead of trying to do all kind of craziness during election time. But hey, what do I know? <laughs> the people I want the people want it. Eh? The people want it that way. So what does Mr. Lix do? The arrangement does not extend to Haiti, apparently. Uh, of course, the, the Asian Prime Minister Ariel Henry stated that he would like his country to be exempted from this arrangement given the humanitarian and social political crisis in that of the French-speaking Caribbean country. Right there, obviously, there are some legal okay issues to examine this whole thing according to what the Prime Ministers then want to do. I think it's a good thing. Uh, free movement. If there's free movement, true free movement, <laughs> I don't think people are going to be staying in Dominica. But then again, they would need the price, you know, the monies for them to leave Dominica and then to survive in other countries as well. That's another situation right there. So when it comes down to if people have the abilities for them to have free movement around the CARICOM countries, I think, you know, there's a huge possibility that more people are going to be trying to leave Dominica, right? There because Dominicans are going any way forward. In fact, I keep telling parents, send your little ones overseas. Yes, because I know Dominica is not going to go anywhere forward, brothers and sisters. Dominica is the last cacarat. Even, what is his name? Reginald Austria himself stated that Dominica has been far. No, Dominica has been last for too long. Even though he is part of the helm of leadership in Dominica that is causing Dominica to be far last cacarat for too long. Are you coming and tell the people that Dominica is last cacarat for too long? And you are the lead, one of the leaders that causing Dominica to be last cacarat. <laughs> but that is that is what you call the audacity. <laughs> but anyways, brothers and sisters, of course, we'd have sort of the uh, security arrangements in place already that people can benefit from. But we believe that the fundamental power of the integration agri architecture and at 50 Oh, this is for the CARICOM, happy CARICOM Day thing that they were celebrating. So I'm guessing that's what they were, they were, were discussing, the free arrangement for the 50 year anniversary of CARICOM. Okay, we could not, the 50, of course, we could not uh, be here today and not speak about the core of the individual movement. And that is the abilities of the people to move freely within the community. And I think we would have saved, what served the community well at this meeting by arriving at this decision i think that's a good decision as well sometimes you have to be careful of that though brothers and sisters because what they're trying to do in the world they're trying to unify the different countries and unify different things so when whoever's in charge of these kind of countries they can rule whatever and say okay this is what's gonna happen for them you know just like we always think of africa uniting that is a good idea but if the people at the top are saying okay you guys certain con certain um places uganda don't want certain anti-man lifestyle in the country if they are under one body what's gonna happen is the person at the head or the pe the, pe the people the, the person the people elect generally speaking at the head might say okay we are now making making african anti-man nation you know and then that law has to be passed through every state and province and country and and so forth in in, in africa so although unification is a nice thing we have to be aware we have to be wary or we have to be aware of you know certain things that could happen as a result of unification so i agree for free movement and what have you in caricom but um i think we also need to be guided properly when it comes down to hey wait a while yes we want free movement but is there will there be a carry caribbean unity or unification of the caribbean islands whereby somebody's the head and then when that person is the head of that place they can then make rulings for every caribbean country you see what happened in in, in the united states when when they, they, they announced that anti-man vibes, you see what happened with the, all, all these states and stuff? You see? You see? Okay. So it's very much vital, brothers and sisters, that unification is necessary. But sometimes it comes with a price. Sometimes it comes with a price. So I just had to point this out there. I agree. It's a nice sentiment. It's a nice sentiment right there for, you know, freedom of movement within the Caribbean or Caribbean communities. Scared also announced that the leaders will hold a retreat in Dominican August. Well, I guess it's keeping your intercontinental resort they're going because that is the only place. 
most likely is that they're going to August 13, uh, August 18 to 19 to review a number of reports, including regional governance and strengthening the functional uh, cooperation ahead of their next midterm summit schedule for Guyana. Uh, Scarity is saying, I have made a clear, I have made it clear, I have made clear to all of us, us that we will lose the suits, the suits and ties. So come with your t-shirts and stuff. So I guess they're coming to free up themselves. All right, this Dubai we've been, uh, we're going to have girls. Anyways, we will be in t-shirts and jeans and shorts, possibly focusing on some critically imp um, important issues of the community that we, uh, that when we get to Guyana, or even before we get to Guyana, we can then put a number of things in place uh, to bring clarity to discussion. And we're hoping, oh, well, that's what scared is saying. <clears throat> He said the government of you can guys can read this stuff. I'll link this stuff in the description below so you guys can check it out. He said the government had mandated a Barbados-based Caribbean Development Bank to engage in a study. It's interesting that they're talking about these brothers and sisters, but I also heard the Jamaican Prime Minister talking about moving into digital currency. Remember, guys, I told you that digital currency it's nice. It's always nice to see it on paper. Yes, nice, brothers and sisters. But if they have digital currency, they can then control what you buy and spend. Nobody might be saying anything. Oh, nothing is happening at present. <laughs> of course not. Why would it happen at present? It's when it's been come when it has become the, the majority of, 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 of what people tend to use, then they can instigate or, or push in their, their, their own thing. So we definitely have to be mindful of this thing right there. But they're talking about the base. I, I the reason why I stated this guys because I heard the Belgian Prime Minister also was talking about something similar to having digital currency. The Jamaican Prime Minister is saying the same thing. Dominica Prime Minister is talking about having some digital currency with Canada. And we see what Canada did with the, the truckers when it comes down to these things. The people are trying to send them monies. And they block them. They block them through, through PayPal. They block them through all kind of things because they didn't want the people to be protesting against what they were doing. The tyranny. That, I mean, people just are loving things to happen to them. Well, in Dominica, they're learning there because they're learning what happened in Dominica and see if they can implement it all across the world. Probably that's why he's the president of CARICOM, probably trying to implement things that they've done to the Dominican people, which the Dominican people allow. Which brings me back to the very thing I talk about. Um, on the road, the Dominican people are just going to allow, hey, we see a sign. Hey, don't go. We go we're going to block this from this time to this time. Nobody putting nothing in the gazette. Nothing. <laughs> it just come and see sign and just say, okay, all right. Two pull. <laughs> Brothers and sisters, we need to be smart about these things and not allow people to just do whatever they want. I see the bench and Leah there. The, region, the regional leaders are discussing the issue of air transport, a, a transportation and light on the problem associated with the movement of people since the inter-regional airline Liat had been placed into administration a few years ago. Yeah, Liat still oh, uh, them people who oh, I tell you, boy, look at him, we boy. And guys, Liat was doing well, you know, since it was pretty much the, the, the main Caribbean airline of the Caribbean. Not true. On the basis of bad management, you see, they clearly does cause chaos. What Gaston and Brown did, who knows what they did? Well, we have an idea what they did, but we cannot say it for the fear of, you know, legal <laughs> stuff. But at the same time, brothers and sisters, Liat, Liat had no competition. People were traveling back and forth doing ding dang. Why then did Liat flop? I don't understand how an airline that have little to no competition flop in. And the other and the other little ones that were there, they doing they they're still there. It had to be as a result of bad management and 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 and, 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 and accounting issues. No? Well, they're talking about Liat. I heard that they, there's some African country that planning to buy um, um Liat or something like that. We'll see how that goes. Hey, I'm all for the freedom of movement within Caribbean Islands. I'm not for 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 when they're they're trying to instigate their own thought process and, and the principles upon the people that do not want it. Remember when Kabbalah then went to Africa and tried to push anti-man agenda? They don't want it, but you're going over there and push anti-man agenda and say if they don't push the anti-man agenda, then you're going to defund them? Really? What? what, what, what? Well, you mad in your head, Gasa? Ay, 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 I need a toothbrush, Gasa. Let me do. I need a toothbrush. I don't know why I pick it up. But anyway, you guys, you understand the sentiment right there. Anyways, guys, let me... Continue right there. Talking about the freedom, freedom movement and so forth, brothers and sisters. When we have the Dominica Prime Minister talking about freedom of movement, we also have to look at what is taking place in Dominica. So let's get back to that right there. So now that we have understood that this kind of thing, you know, the pricing and stuff to get to Dominica can vary based off the websites that you use, guys. There's something I want to talk about right there. I saw this rather interesting stuff from Convent. 
Yes, brothers and sisters, this is it right there. So this was some sort of graduation. You're singing the song of Jamiel. <coughs> we all have days of feeling low, brothers and sisters. Sometimes in Dominica, Elas. We have multiple days of feeling low. Eh? Yes, Lord. Good to have faith to hold on to. But it's also good to be wise, brothers and sisters. If people are keeping you down, don't say, oh, I have faith. Stop your dirty ways and go do the work. Faith without works is dead, brothers and sisters. It's not just having faith. Sometimes, guys, you work so hard to see that tomorrow. And tomorrow, come on, bite in your backside. Because tomorrow, reach, you know. But it wasn't, that, it wasn't as you thought it would be. So you have to hope for another tomorrow and then another one. Oh, I hope. Have the hope like labor rights, brothers and sisters. A better tomorrow. We can only hope for a better tomorrow, you know, brothers and sisters. But you see the youth, them talking about a better tomorrow. It is up to the present individuals who are there to make a better tomorrow. Because if I'm another tomorrow, then it's going to be up to them, the future, to try to make a better tomorrow for the future of their future. I remember when they used to say, we are the future, you know, guys. I, I think they probably say that to every, in every graduation. You guys are the future. The future is here. No, they saying the other ones are the future. What has happened to this future? It has gone down the drain in Dominica. Look at the little ones graduating and most of them... <sighs> They will only find refuge and solace if they leave to make themselves. What are they going to do? Work in any in a bank? <laughs> what are they going to do? That's why I think this schooling system is 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 is, is, is magic. They're talking about a better tomorrow and then tomorrow reach and they, they self guayan in the future. They're going to guayan in the future or leave. Hopefully they can live for betterment. Brothers and sisters, Dominica is full of potential and the thing that we are lacking so much is the opportunity within these potentials. But you have the youth them singing a better tomorrow. Hey, everybody singing a better tomorrow. We, uh, we have to make it today. <laughs> you have to make the better tomorrow today, brothers and sisters. All we'll be singing is the better tomorrow. We're talking about Colin Matt. We'll be singing about better tomorrow all the time. Better tomorrow is come now. Yes, man. <laughs> Better tomorrow. Yes, point. Point. Sometimes you think it's forward you going in the future. We regress, we regress, we brothers and sisters. That is a heck of a thing. Right there. Somebody made this post right there. Say, hey, last, for Maniku, we. <laughs> Even Maniku is seen. Me say, in Dominica, I like the Maniku. <laughs> Lord, I'm going to see the Maniku. Maniku Meg. And Maniku Meg. <laughs> <laughs> By the maniku meg we got sir. Poor maniku, maniku see misery. Probably maniku probably feeling you know the S word already, the S idol. You know he probably feeling like that. Ah oh, boy, alas, maniku tail looking like it breaking there. He miss her. me, alas. Somebody give the maniku some apples now, or some oranges or something. But this is like a reflection of how Dominica is right now. They might want to pretend that everything is fine and dandy. And the people living in Dominica waiting for somebody overseas to sell a barrel for them. And even to clear the barrel, I mean, customs. <laughs> Boy, that is something else, really. Might have to be selling money in barrel to clear the barrel, we. Because the people in Dominica hardly can clear the barrel. I've heard of a, a few situations of that sort. People even overseas saying people in Dominica are wicked. Someone even stop saying burial. Guys, we... Guys, what are your thoughts on what I spoke about there today, man? What are your thoughts, man? What are your thoughts? Give me your thoughts in the comment box below, guys. Is it just me? Maybe it's just me. Maybe my thoughts is just crazy. Maybe I am insane. <laughs> you know? I have lost my ever-loving mind, man. Yes, man. I am senile, man. That is... That is probably it. 
Because I cannot fathom why people are allowing things to happen to them. I don't... I, 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 I. But then again, all we have to do is hope for better tomorrow. Have the hope of a labor right. Not to be a labor right, you know. Have the hope of a labor right. But you need action to follow suit. It's not just having hope and making hope for, for somebody else to do what you're supposed to be doing. Are you letting things happen? Human beings are something else. This is why the great book, the great book called human being sheep. <laughs> I remember seeing a video. They took out a sheep from a hole. And the sheep happy jump up. Hey, you think the sheep going to be, you know, thankful about that? The sheep take a wrong about turn and go right back in the hole. That is how humans are. Literally, we boy. Hey, guys. I was going to say pray for humanity, but it's not just praying, no brothers and sisters. You need action to follow. So I was talking to somebody today, and they talking about, you know, in God's timing. Brothers and sisters, sometimes God's timing is when you make a move to do something. It's not about just saying, oh, in God's timing, brothers and sisters, if you refuse to make a move, you will stay your entire life in the same position you are, saying, oh, God, in God's timing, you don't want, you just, you just don't want, ay, ay, ay. Boy, you want something else, boy. It's good to have faith. But like I said before, guys, and I've stated it again, I think I'll end on, end, on, end on this note. Faith without works is dead. And with that, guys, be real. Be positive. Tell you, we kid our people them. So they're not he ways, guys. And with the most high self as always, guys, definitely stay up.